Hey guys, it is Danny here, the Multiple Streams Queen. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I said once I have a thousand subscribers, I would be releasing a free course. And I went back and forth about whether or not I was going to put it on my platform, Thinkific, or just release it on YouTube. And I'm going to just release it on YouTube. Instead of making it difficult, having people going and signing up for an account and using a discount code to make it free, like I'll just put it on YouTube, categorize it uh, in the section that it goes in. Then if uh, it's too confusing, we'll just take the videos and we'll put them on Thinkific so it's easier for everyone. Uh, and so with that being said, I'm just going to hop right into it. Uh, I am Danny again, the multiple streams queen. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be talking about all things short term rental, Airbnb, starting a business with my family, like what that looks like uh, on my channel. But I have been able to retire from my six figure nursing career uh, because of Airbnb and short term rentals. Uh, to date, I am like coming up on my year anniversary in in this business full time. And to date, I have 38 leases uh, spread out between Baltimore. I have one in Nashville and then also in Houston in the Houston surrounding areas. And so um, I'm excited to share my knowledge, to share my journey. I am not going to sit here and say that I know everything, right? I don't. I don't know everything. But what I do know, I don't mind sharing. Uh, I get so many emails and DMs uh, with questions about how to get started. And so versus me trying to answer everybody individually, it's just easier for me to answer questions on my YouTube page. Number one, and I always start any class or any training with this because a lot of people don't really talk about it, but it needs to be <laughs> talked about when starting any business. And that is like mindset, your mindset. Before you start any business, you have to work on your mindset. You have to understand that this is a business. It's not a hobby. It's not a side hustle. If you treat it like a business, it will pay you like a business. If you treat it like a side hustle, it will pay you like a side hustle, right? This is a business. You are providing a service. You are providing a solution to someone's problem. Show up as a business, show up professional, and people will treat you that way. Go into it with the mindset that this is an investment for your future, for your family's future. And don't be afraid to invest in your business. What you put into it is what you'll get out of it. I have to start with mindset. It may sound cliche, but it is what it is. So many people don't understand how much mindset plays a part in your life in general. Your words are so powerful. With that being said, don't ever be afraid to invest in your business. Uh, but also you have to understand uh, that with business, it comes risk. Um, so sitting down and like really evaluating your risk tolerance, how risky can you play it, right? Do you have to kind of play it safe or you have a high risk tolerance as it pertains to business? So really understanding your business, right? Getting your mindset together and knowing that there may be a chance that this investment may not work or it may not work out the way that you plan, uh, but going into it with a positive attitude, right? Don't get into it and you get started and you hit a hurdle and you just want to give up. You have to understand too with business that sometimes you may have to pivot. So if you have this whole plan and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is how it's going to work. And then you run into a hurdle and because it's not working out the way that you want it to work out, the way that you have fixated on it working out and then you want to give up, you don't know what to do instead of sitting and evaluating, okay, like what happened, what went wrong and where can I go now? Like, what can I do now? Sometimes you just have to pivot. What you thought was going to work is not working. And so sometimes you got to figure out another way for that your plan to work. Don't just give up. And when I talk about mindset, you also have to understand your why. Like, why are you doing it? Keep your why on the forefront when you're starting your business. That will help you when you run into those hard times, when you run into adversity, because it will happen. Adversity will come. Hard times will come. Troubles will come along with the good times. But keep your why in the forefront. And if your why is just money, that's not good enough. It's not good enough. 
of course, everyone wants, wants to make money. Everyone wants to make money. If you start a business, who wouldn't want to make money, right? That's, that doesn't even need to be said. Everyone, obviously, yes, wants to make money. Well, what is your why for starting your business? Because that will help you shape the life that you create with that business. My why is my family. I was tired of missing time with my family. I'm an ER nurse, okay? So there was no holidays off and no weekends off. I had to work. <laughs> I was at work. I have missed countless number of holidays, countless numbers of events with my daughter. Plenty of times, unfortunately, that my father or a loved one was in the hospital and I couldn't go and fly and be there because I was at work. I wanted my time back. I wanted to not miss a moment with my kids because I can't get my time back. No one can pay me enough to give up my time. That was my why. I didn't want to miss another moment. I had my son and I said, I don't know how, but I'm going to homeschool him and I am not going to miss a moment. I missed too many years with my daughter being at work. I'm not going to do that again. So I have been able to start this business and to cater it to my why. My son goes everywhere with us in, in a virtual preschool online because I don't want to miss a moment, right? He's not in a traditional preschool because we travel a lot with our business. So we have to find something that works for us and our family. But it's catered to my why's. I get to spend time with my daughter and my son. Right. So know what your why is. Work on your mindset. And when I say mindset, it can get deep. Right. Because you got to you got to dig deep. You got to look at your relationship with money. Look at your relationship with people. Look at your relationship with your spouse or your partner. It, get, it can get pretty deep. <laughs> right. And sometimes people don't really want to go there, but you have to. So before you start any business, definitely work on your mindset. Write down your why. What is your why? Why do you want to start this business? A few books to read. Love Napoleon Hill. Um, Think and Grow Rich absolutely is a must read. And I'm literally looking at my Audible account and giving you guys the books. So absolutely, Think and Grow, Think and Grow Rich, The Richest Man in Babylon. It's another one by uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Um, people always say, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but The Cash Flow Quadrant is a really, really good book. And I'll put the books down in the, the description here. Think and Grow Rich, The Richest Man in Babylon, and Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow Quadrant. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a good read as well. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video.